Welcome to a little impromptu video while well, some of my orchids are outside enjoying the rain. Now, this might not be anything special for everybody that grows their orchids outside where the temperatures are mild and they get rained on on a daily basis or on a regular basis. But for me here in southern Spain, these conditions are very, very unusual and very, very rare. So I'm still taking a big risk though because my temperatures are not balmy and nice and toasty with a beautiful deluge of fresh rain. Unfortunately, what you see here is a day with temperatures of 17 degrees Celsius and shocker my nights go down to 12 13 and we are at the end of April incredible this spring has just been a nightmare never mind let's focus on the positive the orchids are outside even though I'm taking a huge risk because of the cold night temperatures and last night they were super wet because it rained all night with those low temperatures but here's what I'm doing especially the little gaggle of mounts you see there at the hedge in the distance. I've got brassavolas there, hot growers. <laughs> no, they don't like these temperatures, but I am taking a gamble because the rain is good for them. And I'm hoping that my strategy will work out in our favor because before it's time to bring them in tonight they will go under the south facing covered portico to dry out. I also have my Eonopsis popcorn haruri hanging there, Hawiara lava burst, my Tulumnia hocasonia and for the first time in a long time my little ratty Trichocentum tigrinum. And then to the left, it is a very, very beautiful day. The Victoria Regina is just lapping these conditions up, loving it. And then next to that, my Dendrobium exile. Now, what you also see is several Ancelias and my Hibiki and my Rapiculus Lelias and some Dendrobiums to the left on that table, specifically the Arantia Flammeum and the Tetragona. Everything out here is currently not showing signs of new growth with the exception of, yes, my Lelia gracilis. I am taking a little bit of a risk with that one. All the other Rapiculus Lelias, even though they should be able to handle inundation with rain this time of year, but if there are some new growths on some of the ones I'm a little bit wary of, they are not exposed to the rain, but they will be enjoying the very, very humid conditions. So I've taken a calculated risk with who's going to stay outside despite getting wet. And you can see that we have got intermittent sunshine. It is a monkey's wedding again today. So congratulations to the happy couple. Another thing that I am gambling with is the amount of airflow that I have. A lot, a lot of wind to the point of somewhat stormy. So I'm hoping that works in my favor. They get a bit of rain, a bit of sun, and a lot of wind, maybe also drying them out faster than I would expect. Other orchids that I also have exposed, even though they are warm to hot growers, some are in sheath as well. Specifically, my Lelia Pacavia. She is in sheath, but I am going to risk it because for her it is more important to get some proper rain. She is going to probably divide it at some point throughout the season. I want that pot not to be so contaminated. She is very, very pot bound, so I would like to get some pure water in there. That is not RO water. And then on the right, another gamble is my Rinkat Lianthe Fushu Glory Happy Holiday. Recently divided, treated against any possible F-bomb. But because she's growing new roots, and I was very radical with the root cleanup, I've put her outside to get that magic elixir called rain, which is always such a favorable component when it comes to orchids growing new roots, and it keeps the surface of the leka nice and wet so that any root tips growing now will not be desiccated. You see, when it rains here, I'm not outside with the orchids as much, so I don't want to miss the mark and lose the root tips on that one. My Neophenicia falcata is also out of the mask because it's waking up and now it can wake up with some good rain. Doesn't care about the cold temperatures, so this orchid, no gamble happening there. My Zygonesia murasaki komachi though, it's a bit of a gamble because you can see how tiny that new growth is. But this orchid has been languishing throughout the winter and I figured you can do with some good rain as well. And then you can see my Mimicophila thomsoniana. It is growing new roots in that pot and I really actually should be repotting that orchid right now. But hey, I'm not going to be standing in the rain 
with my equipment, even if I don't film it, there is no need to gamble with my health. But new roots, same thing, give them some rain. And in the back is a little bit of a gamble. That is my Rincolelia digbiana. She is a hot grower, but as she is not growing any new growths, I figured might as well flush her pot out as well with some proper rain. By no means am I a gambling person, so please don't get that impression because what I'm doing here goes totally against what I believe to be the right thing to do. But you can see now the little bit of sun is coming out again. And here we are on the west side. I've got a lot of hot growers here also enjoying the rain. The thing is, if I bring my orchids inside, if they're wet, then I don't have the airflow indoors. And that is why I'm banking on the wind to take care of that for me. It is strange to have 12, 13 degrees temperature outside at night without feeling cold. So I am wondering if there isn't some discrepancy with the forecast. I would be freezing if it were 12, 13 degrees outside. I'm not exactly freezing. So if the forecast is a little bit off and I can feel a little bit more warm than it really is supposed to be, I am thinking this gamble is going to pay off. Of course, I haven't risked this with all the orchids that I know would probably not fare well, but all the kind of cattleyas here. Let me just show you my Dawiana seedling. You see these leaves back here? Yeah, I think that that is cold stress, but they're the old leaves. So that's when I risk it. It doesn't really matter as long as I don't see the same happening with the newest leaves, then I'm going to just sacrifice the older leaves, even though she's got a new growth coming. And in the past 48 hours, I'm not seeing any negative effects here from being outside when it was raining as well. Now you can also see where I've put the Dawiana. She is somewhat half covered, half not. She doesn't get the deluge of rain when it comes, but she gets some. So you see the positioning here is all a little bit strategic. To the left, I've got my Catlia Shiliriana as well. Would not appreciate temperatures of 12, 13 degrees. So yeah, it's just that look at this day. I can't just keep bringing the orchids inside and out for some light to harden them off. This is perfect. They're getting some rain, they're getting some sun, they're getting a lot of airflow and well, for some reason, instinctively, I don't feel nervous about it. And that is also another thing I'm going to go with. If you're feeling nervous, if you're in doubt, take them inside. But I'm not feeling that. So we're going to stick with the instinct and hope that that gut feeling proves me correct. <laughs> if not, you will find out for sure. And then of course, here's my southern facing covered portico where I've got the ones that I don't want to expose to these conditions because I'm a little bit iffy about them. But the mounts will come here before they go inside for the night. And in here, they can dry off with all the, well, we could call it natural airflow, but dang, when it starts to howl and starts slamming things around and that becomes an animal. So airflow <laughs> like this, it's airflow. Last night, not so much. One example of orchids I'm not risking outside is if they're in this stage of new growth. So this is Lelia Sincorana Nina crossed with Bella Vista. You know, I mean, growing roots, it would be perfect. Uh, I'm not feeling it. So <laughs> this one is not being exposed to the rain. And I have several examples like this with my Rapiculus Lelias, even though this time of year in their natural habitat, they would be inundated. But yeah, I prefer, like I said before, if my gut tells me, yeah, don't risk it, then I won't risk it. So once again, congratulations to the happy couple that got married today. Sun, rain, clouds, sun, rain, clouds. In Kenya, that was a monkey's wedding. Just a quick look around my patio in conditions like this. They are very rare and I wanted to at least highlight a little bit of what I'm doing because should something go wrong, then at least I have this video also as a reference. <laughs> and if nothing goes wrong, I still have this video as a reference because my orchids are a little bit more temperature tolerant than I thought. And that would make me feel a lot better. Trust me. Really appreciate you hopping on, joining me with this video. I would say nothing special to see here except a little bit of rain in Spain. I wish you a very beautiful day on one condition though, that you do stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.